Now, the next set of images I'm going to show you should really help, help you understand how the question might inspire us to dig deeper or climb higher in our desire to understand what truth really looks like. These images are different perspectives on the subject of war. The first set of images I've entitled The Glory of War. On the left is a traditional painting of George Washington crossing the Delaware during the American Revolution. Pretty much everyone's seen this. The picture on the right is of Canadian soldiers in combat in Afghanistan. Now, even though the images are separated by over 200 years, it's fascinating how they both evoke a deep sense of courage, even nobility, to the pursuit of war. Now, we can say we oppose war on principle, but I have to confess to being a fan, actually, of these kinds of images, both in fictional and non-fictional settings. I'm an enthusiastic reader of military stories and a lifelong fan of war movies, particularly because of their portrayal of the glory of war. The second set of images I've entitled The Sorrow of War. Now, there are so many paintings and photographs of this very inevitable outcome of war, but I thought these two images captured the deep anguish and sadness of both civilians and soldiers alike. In both images, these are real people caught in the sad reality inside the glory of war. These images of sorrow represent as much of the truth about war as the first images of courage and nobility do. Now, you know, we're somewhat conflicted by this, right? Even frustrated by the spin and the ambiguities of war and peace, and by the question of whether or not one condition is merely the absence of the other. We find it difficult to accept a simple answer to this question, and yet, how are we supposed to understand it? So now I'll share a third image with you, which I've entitled The Soul of War. And it's Picasso's 1937 Cubist masterpiece, Guernica. I don't know, has anyone seen Guernica before? Okay. This painting depicts a bombing attack by fascist aircraft on the small defenseless village of Guernica during the Spanish Civil War. I'd like you all to just take a moment and allow your eyes to rest on the various parts of this painting and open yourself uh, to the unpeeling of the soul of war. From the dying glory of a soldier with a broken sword, to the senseless murder of innocent children, to the anguished cries raised upward to the attackers or perhaps to God, to the newsprint copy. Can you see the newsprint copy inside the horse? To the newsprint copy reporting and spinning the event for purposes of glory or sorrow, even to the confused agony of animals who have no control over man and no choice to be but victims of human beasts. It's perhaps not coincidental that it took a cubist to most accurately answer this endless question of what war really is. 